For sale at Boyd's Brass is this very tiny little descant French horn. This is a high F or F alto single French horn made by Gerard Alexander in Germany. This is a cute little thing. Um, a normal horn would probably come up to here maybe or so. Okay, but this doesn't even like fit on my stand. It has to lean against the back post. Very, very small. This plays in the key of high F or F alto. Um, so a finger is actually like a trumpet in the middle register. You do have most notes. You can play all the way down low. I think there's a few in the middle register you can't hit, but this is a high descant horn um, built for very specific literature, like um, the Bach cantatas, um, things like that. So Baroque horn stuff. It's a super sweet horn though. It's really good shape. You can look, it's unlacquered. Um, the valves are great. I don't think it's been played a whole lot. I, it shows some sign of use. It's probably seen a few Bach cantatas in this day. I don't know. Uh, I don't have the name. The person who sold this horn to me told me the that this was in the collection of a famous horn player, but would not give me the name. So I, I don't know. I can't qualify that. Um, it's not in perfect condition. There's some little dents right here. Okay, and if we come to the underneath of the horn right here, see evidence of dent removal there. Now this is actually something that I had done because this horn was shipped to me and got damaged in the mail, which was unfortunate, but thankfully that was the only damage. There was a dent there. It's been taken out. Um, the other thing to note is that inside the bell, the shop I took it to to get the dents out was not careful. And because I don't know why they weren't careful though. And they did give a few little scratches to the inside of the bell. I'm disappointed at that. I need to get my own dent stuff so that I can do this and not mess up bells, but it is what it is. It's not worth getting mad about, but you'll want to know that as a potential buyer. Of course, it's really well balanced. It'll just sit itself right there. That's kind of cool. So let's look at the back of the horn. You'll see um, valves are great. They're fast, easy to move. I ran out of nice yellow strings, so if I'm going to order more and I will replace this string as soon as I get some. Of course, it works perfectly as is, but you'll want to know that as well. The finger hold on this horn is actually the lead pipe. How strange, you know? It's kind of cool. Um, but it's a great little player. It plays in tune. It's really fun to play. I've played around with it a little bit, didn't really learn anything on it, but it was definitely fun to own. And I think this will serve a professional musician well, especially if you get called and asked to do Bach cantatas and things like that. This is Definitely an instrument that will serve you well in that capacity. It should be noted that this horn requires a Euroshank mouthpiece, which is what I have in it here. This is an H1 E plus two from Houghton Horns. It's probably not the best pairing of mouthpiece for this horn, but that's what I have in Euroshank right now. So, but it should be noted that it requires a Euroshank piece. If, if you don't use a Euroshank, I found it plays fine. You have to mess with the tuning slides a little bit. Um, I did do a little bit of experimentation with that. I do recommend a Euroshank on this horn. This horn comes in its original case. This is like the alligator skin case that Alexander put out. Uh, if you're familiar with these cases, you know that they're not keen on shipping. Horn moves around in them a little bit. Um, of course, it's fine for walking around every day, but shipping is a little rough. I will be keenly, I am keenly aware of this, and I will make sure this horn is very well packed so that it does not get damaged in shipping. Um, so I don't want you to be concerned about that. Got all three latches here. We've got this latch, this latch. This one has lost the spring in its step, as they say. Um, so I don't know how to fix that. But the case still works fine. Latches are great. Those two especially. This one will, that one will like hang on there if you squeeze it down. So works. And you have your original Alexander case that will come with this horn. So this is a super cool little horn. I've really enjoyed getting to know it as, a, as, a, as an instrument and um, playing it some. It's definitely made for a specific kind of literature. Bach and Tadas, like I mentioned earlier, have that real high horn part that you don't want to be super loud on. Um, but, you know, if you're playing a normal double horn or even a descant horn, it's like, oh, it's too loud. Uh, this That's what this little guy is made for, um, is that specific type. High horn literature, high Baroque literature. Um, is really, I think, what this is best suited for. And it's a sweet little horn. It has a sweet sound. It's a very high-pitched sound. It's a very um, centered sound, very bright sound, um, which you'd expect from a desk can of this size, like a piccolo, little, little piccolo horn. 
So it is a specific thing, or it'd be cool if, if you just enjoy um, cool horns. It'd also be maybe a good item for you to own. Um, so I think that's that's the market this horn's going to take. It's a small market, but I think somebody is going to really, really like this horn if they pick it up. Let's give it a listen. Uh, it has trumpet fingerings in the lower register if you start on middle C. Of course, it's keyed in F, but we have trumpet fingerings um, because it's so short. And once you get to the third space C, it uses just single F fingerings like we're all used to. So, yeah, it takes very little air. It's got a very small sound. It's an articulate horn. Um, it's very easy to tongue on this guy. Super, super fun. It's a very responsive horn, and it's a very fun horn to play. And it really sounds nice. I'm really pleased with without sounds, with how it with how it works. I think you, if you buy this horn yeah, for this for these specific purposes, are really going to be pleased with this instrument.